up? It's Jenny. Today, me and my mother are going to be trying out the Universal Yums box. Today, I have the Yum Yum box. And so, each month, you get sent snacks from a different country. And depending on the box you choose, depends on how many snacks you get. So, if you spend $14, you get the Yum box, which comes with six or more snacks. A mix of sweet and salty and free shipping if you live in the US, so that's awesome. And then what I got today was the Yum Yum box. And so it starts at $25 per box, and you get 12 or more snacks. Look how big this box is, holy cow. And you get sweet and salty, and it's free shipping for the US as well. So if you are interested in purchasing this box, um, my link that you can click will be in the description. You can go ahead and purchase it. And you can always cancel your subscription at any time. But I think this is a really cool way to experience different cultures. So if you want to see what we tested out in this box, then go ahead and keep on watching. But make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you never miss out on a cool video like this one. So yeah, go ahead and keep on watching. Keep on. So when you open it up, it has these tissue paper strips lined up in the colors of the country's flag. Look at it! <laughs> so for October, the country is Russia. Russia. Oh, some Russia trivia. 10% of the Russian government's income comes from A, the sale of vodka, B, the sale of cigarettes, C, the sale of guns, D, Russian spies living in the US. I'm gonna go for a good old Russian vodka. Okay, wait, where are the answers in here? You must be the Delta. Oh, here we go, you're right! The sale, the sale of vodka! It says, it, the sale of vodka is a moneymaker for the Russian government, especially when you consider the fact that the average Russian takes 670 shots of vodka a year. I am responsibly. <laughs> okay, so this is what it says about, like, the box. In the world of global politics, it would be a stretch to say that Russia and the U.S. are good friends. A proposed solution to their frosty relationship? Let's eat. In this box, you're gonna find that... <laughs> That when it comes to snacks, there's a lot for Americans and Russians to agree on. Chocolate full of unique fruits, nuts, and seeds. That's something we both love. <laughs> there are cute orange gummies that we wanted. On the flip side, there's a few yums from Russia that we find particularly, per particularly, <laughs> particularly perplexing. They're it's famous. <laughs> Ew, they're famous meat jello called hollow nuts. I probably said that so wrong. I'm sorry if you're Russian and watching this. Probably won't be making its way to our tables anytime soon. Overall, we'd like to think there's hope for things to improve between the US and Russia. We'll take it as a good sign that one of the most famous Russian sayings is don't have a friend who always agrees with you, but have a friend who can argue with you. If that's the case, Russia and the US are well on their way to a lifelong friendship. Oh my gosh, this comes with a lot of stuff. Like, it has this is awesome, this is stuff, this is stuff, this is stuff. Sorry, I'm not going to see it. That's a little problem. And then it gives you um, recipes to, like, yeah. Russian stuff. And then it tells you a famous Russian poem, and then some Russian music, and then the answers to the rest of the trivia. And then there's a clue on the back, but I'll read that at the end. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of these things because they're all in Russian. This is the first thing. Yeah. Ruzik Vanilla Corn Puffs. Ooh, I wonder if they're going to be like cheez -Its. So they're <gasps> yellow. I'm scared. Okay, let's go One, two, three. Wait, let's do the little shy icon. Those are good. They're like sweet, but they still have like light airiness to them. Mm. Will you like these? Yes. yes. They are covered with a light vanilla coating. That's what makes That's them sweet. Why they're That's what you like. The package is really big. It is very big. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try is this little thingy. Karachi Holodex and Horseradish. <laughs> oh no, this is Dude. not going to be good. Yeah. They are crispy bread sticks. They're flavored with Holodex and Horseradish. Holodex. Let us tell Oh, they smell disgusting. Oh, that's very strong. They're a cold meat jelly. They're, oh, you don't want to hear what they're made from. Oh no. <laughs> taste one first. You taste one first. No, you go ahead. <laughs> They smell like cat food. Well, do you want to know what they are? No. They're made from pig's feet, cow's feet, or chicken feet. Oh. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> they're not as bad as I expected, but they're not good. Not oh. my favorite. Oh, when you swallow it's worse. So that's so far not our favorite. Let's go with these. Oh Sweet. no, they're cheese something. Cheese and like like meat. Oh no. This is about to be bad part two. Oh my gosh, it's like these are like um, red things are singing. Okay, let's <laughs> see. Oh, it's so cool. Wait a minute, he's fishing, playing the guitar, and that's kind of very fun. <laughs> Three Karachi salmon and, and cheese. cheese. Okay. Is this going to be good? 
I wonder if y'all can hear that. My cats just had a fight in the hallway. I think they thought they were getting some salmon covered with cheese. Like, yeah, it's super buttery. That's like most of what it tastes. Oh, that's not that good either. A little salty though. Hi, Simba. He wants to smell. Simba, come can here. you smell this? Yeah, Simba. Simba. Hello. Ignore the box. The box is not the interesting part. Okay, I need, I need a sip of water after that one. Yeah, I need a little bit of my drink too. Just to cleanse my mouth. I've been taking little bites because I'm scared. I know. <laughs> I know. When. Um, so this thingy is next. And if I could even attempt enunciation. Chow kick. Shalosko Gazo Chini Strawberry Mini Sponge Cake. I will say it looks like a sponge cake. <laughs> this, uh, this is how big it is. It's like a little muffin. I mean, it's dry, but that's what you'd expect out of processed stuff. It's good though. But it's pretty good. Yeah. Rovka baked milk wafers with chocolate glaze. Ooh, this will be good. Long before refrigerators were commonplace, ancient Russians had a variety of ways to keep milk from going sour. Some Russians would put a frog. A frog? Did I read that right? <laughs> yes, a frog. <laughs> Some Russians would put a frog, specifically a species called the Russian brown frog, into a bucket of milk to prevent it from spoiling. Oh my god. These look good. Like just from their packaging. Yeah. Oh, so you get that much? Well, you split it. The chocolate tastes different than our chocolate. It's gotta be the frogs. This thing looks very interesting. I feel like the that we're gonna need a knife to slice it. Can we wanna go get a knife? No, I just said I feel like we need one. <laughs> it's Tula gingerbread with Lacoma. What is Lacoma? No. Lacomka. Oh. Well, but yeah. Lacomka. You guys are Lacomka? Okay, it's a pretty little decoration on the outside. It's got a little Florida Lake design. <laughs> Florida Lake design. Look at the design. I thought you just act like I'm supposed to do that. How many hard dishes have that? Yeah, they're not seeing it. It was called Florida Lake. That's pretty good. Wait, there's something weird spice in it that just hit me. I don't I'm really like it. A lot. I don't really like it. Not my most favorite. Yeah, definitely not. Cute little baby, though. Let's see. Look at the packaging. Oh, here it is. I oh she's got a babushka on. <laughs> Did you know there was a little bit? Yeah, it's a little babushka. I can a babushka. A babushka. Is that <laughs> Alianka. This is with an N, not yeah. Lamanka. It's Alianka chocolate bar with ice cream filling. In 1966, a socialist initiative was a la was launched in Russia with the goal of. What's that launch? <laughs> In 1966, a socialist initiative was launched in Russia with the goal of mass producing affordable quality chocolate for everyone. Love that idea. As part of the initiative, a competition was held in Moscow for parents to I totally said Moscow, I'm sorry about that. In Moscow, for parents to submit photographs of their children to become the face of the chocolate brand. The winning photo was an illustration of an anonymous eight month girl. The identity of the girl has remained unknown, with rumors swirling that it was Stalin's daughter, a reclusive Russian nun, or the daughter of a famous photographer. None of these theories have panned out, so now it's just become a national hobby for women in Russia to claim that they are the mysterious girl of the package. Oh. <laughs> Zimba, what's wrong? Okay, let's go. Wait. That's good. Reminds me of me at Papa Porta. I can't remember what it is though. It's not, it's sweet. It's almost like a, um, not as sweet. What are you talking about? It's very sweet. Right deeper. Um, looks like another, like, wafer type thing. This is Red October Toffee <gasps> Crepshis. Crepshis? <laughs> Crepyish. I, I don't know. I feel like most of these things have all been like a pretty good size. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Look at this. Ah! Oh! Look at this. Ah! Oh! Dink! I expected it to be crunchy. It's good though. Now we dig into this bag, which has all kinds of stuff. Yeah, There's yeah. two of each, of each little candy. That's really helpful. So they are berries. black current candies. Yep. And in the US too, in the early 20th century, the Federalist, what are you doing? There's the currants. I said it's cute little packaging. There's <laughs> no the one currants. can hear you. In the 1900s, black currant was common in the US too. In the early 20th century, the federal government. In oh. fact, if you're living, did you just eat it? <laughs> she did it. I like this one. This is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, this I'm is I'm trying to good. educate people and you eat it while I'm cooking. This is really good. So it has like a coating and then like filling on the inside. Uh huh. Chew it. It's good. Oh, that's really good. I told you. <laughs> now you know what I could wait. We're gonna try these weird little things. Oh, they're rock front chocolate vanilla candy. Oh, these look interesting. Oh, look at it. They look cute. like dog treats. Don't they? How do you like equate everything to that? <laughs> It doesn't really have a strong taste at all. 
It tastes a little too like processed and not enough flavor for me. Yes, yeah, the, the black currant was better. Oh yeah. <gasps> Are these more currants? <laughs> Rusco chocolate with sunflower seeds and cranberry. Ooh, I could like these too. That's your email, so you have only one man to thank for it. Peter the Great. Peter the Great, thank you. I, I love the color. I feel like I'm gonna eat this thigh. Wow, she didn't even want to That's because that was the black <laughs> currant, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> There's another flavor in there. Which is sunflower seed. It's interesting. I don't think it's bad, but I don't know if it's my favorite either. It's almost like it's got like rolled oats or something in with it too. It's really the seeds. No. <laughs> Tell me about no. This one looks good. It's a very interesting, cute little package. Okay, this is orange fruit jelly. The big reveal. Oh my gosh. It's just like our little fruit slices, oh. but all into a little orange. It's so cute. This is the cutest thing ever. Here you go. I'm gonna feed you. <laughs> she looks so hard that I don't feed you. Here you go. Here you go. Don't let your tongue touch me. Mmm. So, my memory card got full, so my camera stopped recording. But uh, these, like, fruit slices things, the best in this box so far, in my opinion. And mom wanted to share how beautiful the packaging it is. It was so pretty. So, the last thing that we are gonna try are these little thingy majiggers. Yep. Apricots. These are Nikello chocolate covered apricot with walnut. Apricot. Apricot, whatever I say. Apricots. Okay. Wait. Oh, I can't wait. Wow. Really good. I didn't get any walnut. I didn't either. I got a lot of apricot though. I don't like the dried apricot. Mmm, I do. I like the dark chocolate part. The apricot is like so strong to me. Apricots are strong. If you like apricots, this is a good treat. Wise words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a wise old lady. Yeah. Oh! Pretty quick to agree to that one! <laughs> it was the wisdom part that you were bringing to, right? Oh, yes! Yes, yes, mom, it was. Throwing shade. She is shook. I am very shook. <laughs> Girl. You know what Jeff means. No, but that is. <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready for the clue for next month's box? <gasps> dun dun dun. And it doesn't tell us what it is, so we're actually like not gonna know. So y'all have to guess below too. Oh, we'll guess as well. Far, far away lies the Emerald of the Equator. Now independent, the Dutch were once their invader. They left behind a legacy of many good eats, ginger cookies, chocolates, and barley mint sweets. What country? Did ginger cookies originate from? Checking. Okay, I found this on the web for what country did ginger cookies originate from. It's saying like Germany and French, but that's not right. They're not on the equator. What country is on the equator? Here's what I found on the equator. Countries on the equator. Here, this is how we can make our educated guess. Oh gosh, there's a lot. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking of. Wait, I'm going to say Brazil. I'm going to go with Somalia. Okay, so there are guesses, Brazil and Somalia. So you guys can leave a guess down below. I really want to know what y'all think because I really have no clue. So um, that was our trying pouring candy. This box is really interesting. Um, I would definitely purchase this on my own. Like, I think it's really cool that you just like learn about random countries. Okay, so if you're from Russia and you've like tried any of these things, comment down below what your favorite thing is or like your favorite snack that wasn't in this box. That'd be really interesting to find out. Okay, so the Yum Yum box comes with six different things of like snacks. It has like sweet stuff as well as like salty stuff. Um, That's the Yum Box. Yes, the Yum Box. One Yum. And that's $14 a box. So you get six stuff and it's free shipping if you live in the US. And then the Yum Yum Box is $25 a box. And you get 12 or more snacks, which is insane. Like this took us like a long time to open because there was so much stuff in it. And, and this was the Yum Yum box. Yes, this was the Yum Yum box. So that's $25 a box. It has sweet and salty stuff as well and free shipping to the US. So if you want to sign up to receive these boxes, go ahead and use my link down below. Um, it'll just take you automatically to where you can order your boxes. You can cancel your subscription at any time. So if you just want to get one box and try it out or if you want to make a subscription, you can do that. So some of the past boxes they've had are Taiwan, the US, Greece, Poland, the Philippines, France, Turkey, the UK, Korea, Poland, Colombia, India, and Japan. 
So I think this is a really cool company, a really cool subscription box if you're always down to try new things. Um, this is a really cool experience. I had a lot of fun filming this video. Shout out to my mom for being in it. Thank you. So definitely so sign up for the Universal Yums box. I think it's a really cool thing. And honestly, who doesn't love getting things in the mail? Like. I love getting things in the mail. I feel like that's why I online shop a lot. Especially when it's food. Yeah, I'm definitely still gonna be eating these corn puff things. This is so good. And look how big this bag is. Like, I feel like you get so much for your money on this size of your face. Definitely sign up if you want to. I'll have my link that you can use in the description box. It'll take you right to their website. So, yeah. We will see you, well, I will see you in my next video. I only get to come occasionally. I know. Um, and if you missed my announcement video, this is going to be my last video for at least a week. I'm going to be taking a YouTube break because 31 days of Halloween just like made me so exhausted, like creatively, mentally, all of those things. And I need to catch up on my life. Like I just cleaned and my room water. today. That's what I meant by all my life. This is why you don't have your mom in videos. <laughs> <laughs> All she does is nag. <laughs> oh. So yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what snack you want to try. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. See? Nutrition. So I guess they assume that Americans are going to be consuming this. Don't know why. Oh, those like the weight. Yeah, yeah. I cookies. feel like I never was allowed to eat those. <laughs> <laughs> she makes this stuff up. You I were know. never ever <laughs> allowed to eat those. Okay, you're ready. Oh, you're ready. Okay. Uh, I'm you're ready. You're gonna keep it again. I feel like. Rotter from a bun. A pukak. No. For Christopher wait, Columbus. Wait, wait. Today's the day. Then I'm taking the. <laughs> no, you can't take both of them. I'm taking this the. Was my I'm taking the black currant. Just for that. No. Yeah. Yeah. She throws shade. I get the currant.